Hello and welcome. This is Danny Garola here with Stamp in the Pink Barn. We are going to be doing the alternatives for the March paper pumpkin. It is called Beyond the Horizon. And oh my goodness, you guys, it is absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> they had an issue with this month's kit coming in so there were some supplies that didn't come in to fulfill some of the boxes so some of us were kind of late with getting our kits um i actually snatched my mom's she so graciously let me have hers so i could go ahead and do our last thursday of the month i always do my alternatives to my paper pumpkin so today is march 31st so um i snatched our I didn't snatch it. She so graciously gave it to me and said that she could wait for her kit. So I just got my shipping notification telling me that my kit is on its way. So I will give her my kit so she can play around with it because it is absolutely gorgeous. And for Paper Pumpkin subscribers, Paper Pumpkin did, Stampin' Up! did a really awesome thing this month where they went ahead and gave um, an extra free stamp set in the paper pumpkin. So I'm going to go ahead and get you guys flipped around. Um, I'm kind of on a time crunch today. My husband has a uh, arrangement at eight o'clock and you guys know how I get <laughs> talking and run myself over my two hour limit, but eh, it is what it is. But tonight I have to be good. So I told him I wouldn't do a lot of talking and that I would get straight into the thing because um i really do have some beautiful cards to show you guys tonight it took me probably a week racking my brain around these alternatives because the scenery is so gorgeous you just don't know what to do with the paper because you don't want to cut a bunch of it up and lose the integrity of the paper but um it's really cool some of the things that I came up with. So I'm going to flip you guys around. Oh, I see quite a few of you guys popping in here. Hello, Frida. Hello, Danette. Hello, Rhea. All right, so I think Rhea, you were probably one of those people that got the um, confirmation, shipping confirmation on your kit today, right? Or maybe it happened in the middle of the night or whatever. But I know I saw it pop up today. So I'm going to get you guys flipped around so we can get right into these alternatives. So without further ado, hold on. Nobody getting sick during stamping, right? Let me get you guys flipped. So I've been extremely busy here in um, the pink barn today. I uh, went ahead and purchased my domain. I had it for my other uh, name that I had before, before I switched to Stamp in the Pink Barn, which is what I'm going to stay. This is that we've been Stamp in the Pink Barn for about a year now. So, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that now you guys can go to my blog instead of having to type in the whole stamp in the pink barn dot blogspot dot com. Now it's so much easier for you guys to get there. Now all you have to do is type in stamp in the pink barn dot com. Hoo hoo hoo! Isn't that cool? So I felt very um accomplished today with getting that taken care of because i always put things like that off because it's like oh my gosh just one more thing that i have to try to wrap my brain around but in my um training that we have with um some of our um top dog uh team leaders like for instance my team leader she is one of the million dollar sales people and she really knows the business she's been doing it for a while um, she had, uh, we have a team me or not a team meeting, but a, um, training meeting that we have every Wednesday and she, they had all let us know how important it was to buy your domain. And so that's what I did. I finally sat down and I spent the morning reading into it and finding out 
What the heck does that even mean? So I feel accomplished. I got that done. And now I'm a dot com. <laughs> silly, silly, silly. But hey, you know what? It, it feels good when you get those things done. All right, so I wanted to tell you guys, today is the last day for the savings are in bloom. This is where you can snag this uh, mini stampin' and, and uh, stamp cut, mini stampin' cutting and emboss machine for 20% off. So right now, um, you can get it for $48. It's regularly $60, so you'll save that 20%. Today is the last day. I want you guys to know that. So when it comes 11.59 Mountain Standard Time, it is no longer available. Um, and, and with that, they also selected 13 bundles for that 20% off as well. I will let you know that this is in the new catalog, the new uh, May annual catalog coming up, and it has gone up a few dollars. So if you've been eyeballing this, you're really going to want to get it today. Don't wait. Um, and get it at that 20% discount and then go ahead and take a look at all these. Um, if you go over to my blog, you will see this. I've also posted a couple of things throughout the day today. I have a graphic on there. If you scroll through this page here, um, I have a graphic with all these in there and there's a downloadable PDF that you can pull off that looks just like this. And it tells you everything that you need to know and how much each set is. Okay, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys really quick is this paper pumpkin that we're going to do today is no longer available. It was for the month of March, and now we are in the month of April. So the way paper pumpkin works is it goes from the 11th of the month to the 10th of the following month. So this one started, this is called Change is Beautiful. This started on March 11th, and it runs through April 10th. So after April 10th, this one will be no longer available. Then the last Thursday of April, I will go ahead and do the alternatives for this kit. But this says, um, growing through life is exciting, but it can also be scary. Let your loved ones know you support them through all the life's chapters with the Change is Beautiful Paper Pumpkin Kit. With colorful cards inspired by nature's cycle of change, you can let them know that new beginnings are simply new adventures. So it says that this one contains the supplies to create nine cards. So that's three of three designs So and nine coordinating envelopes. It's perfect for sharing support and excitement for new chapters like graduation, new careers, retirement, and more. Features colorful designed designs inspired by nature. Includes an exclusive stamp set and Melon Mambo Classic Ink and, or, um, Stamp and Spot. So this one is available through April 10th. I have um, in the, the description of this uh, Facebook Live here, you can find the subscribe button and it'll take you right to subscribing for Paper Pumpkin. So let me kind of show you what Paper Pumpkin is kind of all about. Let me get this out of here. So every one of your kits will come with in a cute little box like this. It shows up in your mail every month when you subscribe. This is what it comes with. This is your little, your little instruction brochure. It shows you what each one of the cards is going to look like. Again, there's three of three designs making nine cards. Then when you open this up, it shows you step by step. So this is card number one. They show you exactly how to put it together, where to put your um, glue dots or your Stampin' Dimensionals, whatever one they give you, or sometimes they give you both. Um, they, so the little dark ones right here, those are your glue dots. These oxagon looking ones or hexagon or whatever that shape is, those are your dimensionals that you're going to put on those. So you're going to pop your little sentiment up. Then it even shows you as far as where to place your little rhinestones. So they give you rhinestones. And not every kit is going to have the same, you know, contents in it. Um, and then card number two does the same thing. And then card number three, they also give you a 
18 inch ruler down the side. So when they tell you that you need, for instance, right here, they tell you that you need seven and a half inches of your ribbon that they've given you. So you can go ahead and measure that out right here on this ribbon. The only thing you will need to supply yourself with is a pair of snips. They've given you everything else. Um, they also have the uh, alternatives, a few alternatives that they go ahead and show you on the back of this. There's also a QR code that if you just scan this with your phone, it'll bring up a paper pumpkin how-to. So that's really kind of cool. So there's lots of ways to do these kits. You can do them the attended way, which is what this shows you here, or like I said, I come in here once a month and I show you the alternatives that I have designed with these kits. So for this month, this was the stamp set that came in this kit. Let me see if I can find something that is white to place behind it. This is the stamp that came in here. It's got some really cute sentiments with it. But then, like I said, for being a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, they gave a full free sheet in this March's kit. So it was really awesome. I love these flowers and how there's kind of a two part to them where you stamp this and then you can stamp these in like a darker color to really give that flower a kind of a more realistic look. Same with like the little leaves and everything. All right, they gave you a spool of ribbon. This one came with Misty Moonlight which is the ink spot that you get. So every month you will get one of those in your kit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab my full Misty Moonlight, if I can find her. And this is one of the retiring colors. This is the one that I rant and rave about and I tell you guys that you need to put this in your shopping cart now, since this is one of our retiring in colors. This is the only color that we have right now that is that denim color. So see how this little box is up here in this top corner? That's letting you know that it is an in color. So let me look. Um, on here, this is one of our uh, classic colors. And this does not have that little box up there. So see the difference? You'll know if it's an in color if it has this little you know, icon up here. But this is one that is retiring. Um, it came with those really cool iridescent gems. Your first paper pumpkin kit will get um, one of these little uh, acrylic blocks. So your stamps will mount on there. So you'll be able to stamp on everything. This month, I don't know why this one came with one of these. Because we've been, you know, signed up for, you know, years now that I don't know why this one came with. Uh, that extra thing, but hey, cool, I'm not going to complain. I like taking those to my classes when we do our in-person classes, and it just gives me an extra block to, you know, mount stamps on. It came with four of these little, I'm going to say, um, you could use those for sentiments. You also got this, is there two sheets of that? No. Those are like a white ribbed, and then look at these. I've already cut some of or punched some of these out for my alternatives, but you get three sheets of or four sheets actually. Oh, wait a minute. No, that was right. Three sheets of these really cool punch out pieces here. You have some mountains here. You've got these um, like leafy pieces. And then here's some more little labels that go behind your sentiments. Here are those glue dots that I was talking about. So see, this one came with dimensionals and glue dots. Here is your sentiment labels. And then you got three, which I have some underneath here so I can do my alternatives. Oh, there's another thing of labels for your um, backgrounds. So here is the, you got three of these. See what I was talking about, how they're so pretty. It's so hard to, you know, try to come up with something and you don't want to take away all that beautiful scenery that is on there. So you got three of those. You get three of these. 
Now this coordinates with that set that we have inside of the um, catalog right now, our JJ Mini, which is the um, On the Horizon. And there's also some of the paper that is called, uh, where did I put that? It's sitting right here because I'm actually going to be using some of this paper. This is called New Horizon. This is the paper. And then, so there's that one. And then you got three of these ones here as well. And like I said, they show you exactly how to put everything on there. Then you got your nine coordinating envelopes. Okay. So let me get this stuff out of the way so we can go ahead and get right into making these cards. This is the bundle. So it comes with these really cool dies here. And this is the stamp set. This is that bundle that is on the horizon that is in the JJ mini catalog that coordinates with this month's paper pumpkin. This can be a totally awesome set standalone with this paper. So beautiful. I've had so many people order that. It has just been incredible. I think it's probably one of our hottest selling Set. So I'm just going to move some of this stuff out of the way so we can get right to what we need to do here. So let's get into the first card that I have designed for you guys. This first one, whew, I just started getting a hot flash, sorry. This first one, I am going to be using a piece of um this is 11 by four and a quarter now this is our thick basic white it uh is great for card bases you don't want to use just basic white because they won't stand up forever because they will start to bend because it's a little bit thinner but it's the one that the the regular basic white is the one that i like to stamp on because it really holds our ink well so there's that and then i'm going to use a piece of knight of navy and I don't think that is big enough, so I need to cut another piece down. So let me grab a full sheet of Knight of Navy. I thought I had my pieces all cut here, but you know, it's just how it works sometimes. Oops, wrong drawer. So I've done the filing cabinet um, method for all my designer series paper and let me tell you it has been a life changer i just have my little file folders let me show you guys really quick i have my little file folders that i got off of amazon and then i just do one that i put in like a, a paper protector and then i just make a little label and then i just throw them in there and then so when i flip through them i can see all my little labels and know which color that i need to pull from all right so i need this to be at let me see i'm gonna do five no that seems like that. it's gonna be too small i'm gonna do five and a quarter by four and then we'll see if we need to make it smaller than that because for some reason I was thinking I want a bigger border around that but no now looking at that I think that might be okay okay and then I took a piece of that paper from the new horizon paper pack that's a six by six and I am going to cut this, since I did this at four by five and a quarter, I'm going to do this at five and one eight, or, uh, I was just going to say five and one eighth by four and seven eighths. And let's see if we need to make that even smaller. No, I think that's good because we don't want that knight of navy overbearing that so that's perfect okay we're gonna do it like that so just know that i will have still photos and this video once i am done it won't be until later tonight since i was saying that my husband has some things he has to do after i'm done but i will upload this video on youtube and then put it over on the blog which is stamp in the pink barn 
com. And uh, that way you guys can see the still photos. You guys can see everything that I've used to make these alternatives. All right, so then the next thing that I need to do is I need to take the card base, which I decided to use this one with this mountain scenery here. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And then I need to grab my layering circles dies, which are, you guys all know, that these things are kind of lifesavers. And I'm gonna grab the this size here, which is the second smallest. And I'm gonna kind of line that up in the center of that. I really wanna see those mountains, but I want some of this pink from the water down here coming across there, and I'm just going to cut that out of that uh, circle, out of the center of this card. So this is what you're going to get. And if you might be able to find something to do with that, I mean, I wouldn't toss that. I would say hang on to it and see if you can do something with it. But here is that piece that I wanted to keep out. And then I'm going to take the scalloped circle. That is the, um, I want to go a little bit bigger than this one. So I'm going to go and look at this and see, no, that's smaller. So I'm going to go with the biggest scallop and with that knight of navy i'm going to cut that scallop out because i want that layer behind my image okay so this is going to go on there oh isn't that gorgeous okay so that's going to go there and then I was going to use one of our pieces from the set here. To create the sentiment piece. So we can use where that little piece go. Oh, here they are. There's some of those, and then there's these here. So we could take something like that blue one and put that across there. I don't know if that's gonna be long enough, but we can try. And then maybe one of these and kind of layer it up because we have that green in this here. And then now maybe take this little one and kind of stack that on top of there. You guys like that or no? Yeah, I think that works. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this stuff all adhered. Just opened a brand new glue and I knew that was gonna happen, dang it. When I have it upside down and it's brand new, it always seems to overgive me glue on that first initial use. And I, I should know by now to not turn it upside down on my first go. Yes, you like that? Okay. Oh, hi mom, I didn't even see you come in here. Hello, Susan. Hello, Peggy. Hello, Jean. Anybody else that I missed? I kind of just went ahead and started flying through this because like I said, I got a, I got a time crunch today, so. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put that right on there. Oops, and I moved that. See, the good thing about <clears throat> that green glue is I have some wiggle room there to put that in place where I need it. 
Okay, that's going to go there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue, just, just a little strip across here. And then stick this blue piece on there. Just like that. That's gonna go there, and then let's go ahead and get our ugh, let's get our sentiment ugh, stamped on there, and that's when I'm gonna use my ooh, misty moonlight, and then I think I'm going to use we have I will I will always be here for you. That might be cool because that might fit right in that little yep that would work good um thanks might be really cutting it close to the edge it might look like i just tried to squeeze it on there and i don't like that or sending you birthday wishes i like that one okay let's do sending birthday wishes and then let me grab my chamois and make sure it is handy a handy chamois. Perfect. Ooh. Straighten everything. Ooh. Okay, so let's grab some dimensionals. And I'm just going to grab mine here. Or actually, I'll just use the ones that they gave me because why not? I normally have a heck of a time because I have everything stacked up so I'm not losing pieces. That normally I just grab my own because I keep mine in my little caddy so I know exactly where they're at. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to place that right there. And then I'm going to put this directly down on my paper. that and then I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals on this and pop it up okay I'm just going to stick that kind of right like that And then let's stick this down. I forgot to do that. Okay, so there is alternative number one. What do you guys think of that? Okay, but we have to put a couple of little blingies on there. Ugh, if I can get these things out of here. Oh, get off. All right. All right, just like that. We needed some bling. Isn't that cute? Another idea for you. Well, I was, you're, you were in on my mind, Arliss. I just, I was totally thinking of you. <laughs> so yeah, there is the first one. Okay, so let me get the stuff out for card number two. Okay, the next one is, the next one I am doing 
This is the Evening Evergreen. This is four and a quarter by 11. Scored in half at five and a half there. Then I have a piece of yellow. This is Bumblebee. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to cut it down. And yes, I already cut a scallop out of here. But I'm trying to use up scraps. I'm trying not to use up too much of my paper for my alternatives. So that was another one of my goals. So because I cut this kind of towards the center, I still have a lot of room here that when I put my layer over it, all you're going to see is that outer edge anyways. Nobody's going to know this is here. I mean, besides you guys that are watching, but once I cover it, nobody's going to know. So let's put that aside. Now this one I decided to use this card base here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out on the lines that they kind of already have. So what I need to do is I need to measure first. I need to move some stuff out of the way. That's what really needs to happen. I keep cramping myself in. So I'm going to cut that at right there. And it's okay if I have a little bit of white on it. I'm not that worried about that. And I'm going to say that that is probably okay, right there. And then you still have this full white piece of the back of that card that you can stamp on and do something with also. Um, you know what? I don't remember how much I cut off the top of that, but I don't know. We're just going to say we're going to go to four and three quarters because that's just how we're going to roll. Okay, so this will now go on the front of here. So what did I say my size was? I said this was, <clears throat> so I need this cut at five. So I'm going to leave this side here and turn it this way. And I'm going to cut this at five because I don't want to cut any more off this side or off this end because I want to be able to use that for my, for my card and the same thing. I'm not going to cut off over here because once I layer this down, see, you're not going to see that. And that's okay. And this is cut at, what is that? Three and five eighths. So I need to cut this at three and seven eighths. Okay. Now when we put this on there, perfect. Okay, that's exactly what we need. So it's going to look like that. So everything is cut for that part. And then what I have done is I've taken a piece of basic white cardstock, just a piece of basic white, and I took both of my gates here. This is from the, uh, the or, um, On the Horizon bundle. So I've taken the two dies, the two gates, and I've cut those out of basic white. And so I have these two uh, gates here. I'm going to set those up there so I don't lose them because I'm going to do some stamping on here first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, my stamp set, which is on the horizon, and I'm going to take the trees... and a block. And I think I'm going to do this in evening evergreen. Just because my card base is in evening evergreen. I think I'm gonna do that. So we're gonna take evening evergreen. And up here, it looks like in the center of this, it's almost like where water is. So I'm gonna use this as kind of my land over here. And I'm going to just place a little bit of scrap underneath this just in case I this long part goes off the edge. And I'm going to stick that right 
right like that. And I'm going to hold it there for a few seconds. Give it some time to marinate into that paper, just like that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the birds from this. And I'm going to do the birds kind of up towards the top up here in this white area. Okay, and just like that. And then I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little, where did I put it? I thought I had my little strip here. Where did I put it? Okay, well, I'm just going to grab another one, I guess, because I don't know where I put it. I have a little white strip from here. What? Who knows? See? I already had it punched out. I don't know where I put it. It'll pop up somewhere. So I'm going to take that, and that's where I'm going to stamp my sentiment on this. Again, in Evening Evergreen. So let's see what sentiment we're going to use. This says, congratulations, a little note. I kind of like that little note. And then let's see what's over here on this one. This one has time to celebrate, which would be cool. Um, best wishes. Ah, oh, that's awfully big. No, we're going to go with just a little note. So now I'm going to take just a note. Um, again, I'm going to set it on the white just in case. But this got a little bit bent, so I need it to be straight. I'm going to do it kind of towards the edge over here. like that. Ooh, that came out good too. Okay. Now I'm done with the ink. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take my snips, but let me first get my little gate kind of set where I want it first. And then I'm going to take this one. I'm going to put it on that straight one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these last two ones off, but right at the edge of this. like that and that's going to go there and then this one's going to go kind of like that and again this is all going to get layered on here and then this little piece is going to get cut hey leg rover out he's standing there crying and then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to angle it just like that. And then that's going to go right there. Then, I know we have our rhinestones, but you know what I was thinking is there is, with that um, onto the horizon, there are these little things. Now, I know the last time I checked, um, they were out of stock, but I know they got more in stock and then they're back on low inventory 
So if you want these pebbles, you need to run, not walk, and go put them in your order now and um, complete that order when you buy your little mini machine also tonight. So you make sure you get some of these little pebbles because they are so stinking cute that, and we've never had anything like them, so they really are cute on cards. All right, let me get this stuff kind of put on here. And it's okay that my glue is gonna go over the back of that because I'm gonna be gluing it down anyways. Yeah, for some crazy reason, every time I go to start a video, one of my cats has to come in here and then sits here after it's done eating. I go and I give it a can of food thinking that, okay, well, I'm doing my video. The cat knows better. It'll leave me alone. Yeah, right. The cat has to bug me during my video because it wants to go back out into the living room or go back outside because it's done eating. It got what it needed. <laughs> He's like, I'm out now. All right, so then I'm going to take this again, and I'm going to put that right there. Okay, and then this other little piece of the fence. take and I'm going to pop this up. See, I told you guys I lose my dimensionals along with my marbles. My marbles and my dimensionals are probably hiding together. And yes, I'm talking about my mental marbles. Okay, this is going to go right there. Okay, and then we're going to take some of these little pebbles. And I think, oops, stay there. I think I'm going to do, I think the cinnamon, I don't know. We're just going to try it. Let me see if I can even get this off of here. Just kind of put a pebble here and there and everywhere. Put a couple little pebbles. Just kind of stacked around. No rhyme or reason. Because as we know, rocks don't like have. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it just like that. So, oh, let me tell you what those things are called. They're called pebble enamel shapes. Hello, Sharon. So there is, oh, look, and I smudged it with my fingers. Let me see if I can use my little mono. I didn't even see that I did that. So I sell these. They come inside of my uh, adhesive kits. I sell adhesive kits. They are $35. My adhesive kit comes with, and I will have all the information for that over on my blog. My adhesive kits come with this, it comes with a adhesive remover, one of these little gluey rem removers. It comes with a full pack of regular size dimensionals and a full size pack of mini dimensionals. It also comes with, um, what else does it have? It has glue dots in there. It has a six inch ruler in there. It has a six inch clear ruler so you guys can see your measurements and your paper behind the clear ruler. I also put a full pack of tear and tape in there. You get one of the green pack of green glue or a full brand new bottle of green glue in there. And it comes all packaged in this cute little bag 
here so you can take it on the road with you when you go to have your scrapbook um swap us uh, uh geez what the heck is the word that i'm trying to find your scrapbook there's a word for it i don't know or your card classes or um any kind of crafty activities that you go and you need to have all your adhesive there with you this is really cool to just have handy so everything just goes right with you you can throw a pair of snips in there with you or your take your pick tool throw it in there on the go this goes to you guys with your tax and shipping and everything already included for $35. So email me, let me know if you want that, or message me right here through um, Facebook, uh, Facebook Messenger. Just send me a little message and let me know that you're interested, and then I'll get you a um, invoice over, or you could, we can talk about how you want to pay for it or whatever. I take a couple of different ways of payment, so we'll get it figured out show you here's one I already put together that I can just kind of just show you exactly what they look like so see they're already all packaged and nice and ready to go out the door okay so there is card number two isn't that cute I just love these little fences okay card number three okay let me get some of this mess out of here first because I'm going to start just burying myself and then I'm going to lose my marbles because they're already lost along with my dimensionals, right? Didn't I just tell you guys that? Okay, let me get this put on here. Yes, because I have a, a scrapbook page that we're going to put together also. It is a 12 by 12 scrapbook page that I really want to get to and show you guys what I've came up with. Okay, let's move the stamps out of the way. Move these over here and then I'm going to pick this stuff up and just set it right here. Okay. All right. So now with this next one, we are using the tailored tag punch. Now you guys have seen these cards, I'm sure. Um, on Pinterest, you've seen this style of card done because it was really, really popular when this tailored tag punch first came out. But I love the design and I think it goes pretty well with this card here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of each one of my envelopes. Okay. Then I have a Misty Moonlight which I need to cut down because it should be five and a half, which it's not. Five and a half. And we're going to just fold it in half to make it five and a half by four and a quarter for our card base. If you guys missed it a couple weeks ago, I, we made this little caddy here so I could show you guys how to keep all of your adhesive in one place on your desk. I keep my tear and tape in there. I keep all my packages of even the black ones. I keep the dimensionals in there and then I keep my mini glue dots. You guys can find this video over on YouTube under um, Stamp in the Pink Barn. While you're there, please hit that follow button. I'm really trying to get my followers up so I can start doing face or YouTube lives as well. Okay, this piece here, we're going to cut this down to um, five by um, three and three quarters. Okay, this is going to go right here. But first, what I want to do is I want to take my envelopes and I'm going to do, just come in here and punch a couple of these out. Now, just know you can cut the sides of this off. Be kind of careful with it and take this down. If you want to make a couple of these kinds of cards. Look, you've got all that space in there to use to make different cards with. 
that's on all of the envelopes like that. You can even use this outside as well to give yourself another variation. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. And then this leafy greens. We need this piece here so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna <clears throat> start by kind of just setting these on here the way that I think that they look kind of good let's put this one um, here that one there actually So like that, and then take another blue one and go right here, and then take this one, or maybe actually put this one over here. Nope, that's not gonna work because then I'll have one of those touching, and then put that there. No, put that down here. You know, see, no matter what I do, it's going to touch. Okay, maybe I need a different design. Okay, so let me grab one of these. All right, so don't do each one the way I did. <laughs> I'm going to grab this piece here. I'm just going to slide this inside of here and just cut it. So I'm going to take one of these, no, one of the blue ones away, keep that there. Put that there. And then I'm going to take this one off too. I'm just all sorts of undecisive. It's okay. It happens. I didn't have it planned out all that well, I guess. <clears throat> I'm going to put this one up here and put this down here. I'm gonna go like that all right so you guys see what I'm doing here right so then I'm gonna start just adhering these on here then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take there was on here there's like this little piece here that might be too tall you know what it might work maybe if I flip flop a couple of these Oh, geez, lady, figure it out, huh? That's probably what you guys are saying. Okay. That's how it's going to go. Yep. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. We're rolling with that. I'm not touching it. I'm going to leave it alone. And then, so, let me start adhering these things on here. Oops, that one's empty. Okay, that one's going to go there.
Isn't that kind of crazy how quiet I realize how quiet I get when I start concentrating? I'm not a real quiet person, so when I get quiet, you know there's some brain brain action happening. Okay, then I'm just gonna cut these extra bits off. Okay, and I was actually gonna do it that way, but now looking at this, I think I like it better like that. Okay, so now we need to grab a sentiment. Hello would work actually really good in that spot. Um, I kind of like the hello. Or we have thinking of you. Thinking of you I like. Okay, we're going to do thinking of you. And I'm going to do that in Misty Moonlight. Since Misty Moonlight is my card base. <clears throat> out hold on I'm just gonna show you guys something really fast <clears throat> just another thought <clears throat> if you want to cut this out of white and pop it up you can do that there and put your sentiment on it I'm just gonna put my sentiment right in this spot actually do is you could see that's too big too I'm just gonna keep it simple I'm not doing all that what you could technically do is if you cut these little leaves out you can put a couple of leaves like this once you cut them out and then hook them to your ribbon but I'm just gonna leave it alone because sometimes more is too much and I'm kind of just digging being seeing all the elements of this So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this around. Okay, I'm going to grab my bottle. Because remember how I showed you guys how to do this? Take your bottle. Since I want my bow going over here, <clears throat> cut this off. Since I, since I want my bow over here <clears throat> more, I'm going to cut kind of right here. <clears throat> And then when I go to put that on there, see, I have my space <clears throat> to be able to run that through the back. Okay, so I just tuck that there. And then I grab just a little piece of tape. I'm going to do cheater mode here. Tape that there, and then follow this piece going this way. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, and then now grab my glue and my base. See that I got a little bit of glue here, so that's when your little adhesive remover works perfect. Once you let that glue dry for just a moment and you wipe that off, it comes right off. So every once in a while, just go and pick the little goobers off the end of this so they're not, you know, sticking to your card and you're not leaving goobers. And then we're going to take some of these rhinestones because we've got to bling this up a little bit. Take one there. Take a big one up here, and then another one down here, maybe. Okay, maybe I don't like that. Oops, see, and I just lost the little adhesive dock, but that's okay, because I'm just going to put it right there. There we go, that's better. And then there's a little bit of bling on there, and what do you guys think of that? So that is card alternative number three. Okay, now let me get this scrapbook page brought in here. Now I have it kind of laid out the way that I'm thinking because you guys know how I have to visually see what I'm doing before I try to just, you know, sit down and create a scrapbook page for you guys because I probably I would get like stage fright and I wouldn't be able to do anything. Because that's just kind of how I am. I get like, <clears throat> in the moment, I get kind of pressured and then my brain just stops working. Now, I don't know if it happens to any of you guys, but just being honest with you, that's just how my human brain works. What am I doing? Look at that. <laughs> See, that's how my human brain works. So, all right, let me get some of this stuff moved and out of the way little bit of organization here okay now let me bring in the scrapbook page and at first it's gonna look like a mess but that's okay um, you guys will work with me here so what I've kind of come up with is I've cut or not cut out but I've punched out these are kind of perforated you just punch the little leavies out and so let me show you kind of what I got going on here so this is just a piece of basic white 12 by 12 and then I've cut this evening evergreen piece to what did I cut it at nine and three quarters by five and a quarter and then I cut just a quarter of an inch smaller than that of just white copy paper because when I go to put my so I cut this out so I can do um, three photos across here three by fives okay that's gonna be my photo mat and then so I wanted to have when I put my photo down it'll be kind of like this you'll see just a hair of white behind my photo and then you'll see the big piece of green so let me move these things out of the way keep them where I have them so what I want to do, I'm going to move this white piece for the moment. Or actually, let's just glue this on. <clears throat> but I didn't want to use a full sheet of basic white for my layered part. So I just use photo paper because really all it is is to just see a little touch of white. And who's really going to care whether or not it's a full sheet of basic white versus photo paper I mean copy paper I know when my kids go back and look at their their scrapbooks they're not gonna be like oh well mom chinsed out on that one and she used yeah they don't care okay so then I wanted to put now this is a full sheet of that horizon paper this right here 
this horizon paper i just chose one with this scenery look on it and then i it's six by six so i cut it right in half at three and then i chose to take the top portion and put up there and then the bottom portion i'm going to put down here and then i took three of the elements from here i took one of these big ones for the bottom for the the top bigger piece here and then i grabbed the uh, evening evergreen and then one of those blue strips and I sat those on top of there and then this is that um, piece that I'm gonna use this for my sentiment now I might put a white strip and do the sentiment over the top of it I'm not sure yet because I'm not sure what sentiment that I want to use but I want to get this all kind of oh, see this needs to go up So once I have those there, I'm going to glue those first. See how beautiful this paper is? Look at the colors in that. That side of would have been really pretty too. Okay, that's going to go there. And then I'm going to do this one up here. show you what I was thinking now this may work and it may not so what I did was I took a piece of scrap paper I took my two blender brushes that already have my two colors on it now I know some people are saying to go ahead and wash your blender prints now you can or your blender brushes you can wash them this is one that I got off of Amazon but this is our actual Stampin' Up! ones <coughs> this is our Stampin' Blending Brush excuse me for that big cough but um these can be washed and they come like darn near completely clear. They wash very nicely. But the reason why I don't wash them is because every time I use them, that's just even more ink that I have to saturate my brush with. So once my brush has already got some color to it, I use this kind of for all my yellow family colored um, ink pads. So I don't want to rinse it because I don't want to have to start all over and use that much more ink to kind of get my base coat to my brush. So that's the reason why mine are, are still colored. So what I was thinking is I was going to take Bumblebee and Old Olive. And because I did this on this scrap paper, I could kind of see kind of where I wanted to go with this. Now I was thinking if this was here, and I took some of those, so what I did, I punched, so I used the negative of these two pieces here, and I just grabbed this, and I'm going to take the green, grab my green here, and then grab my scrap, because I always want to have a scrap to rub some of that excess off, and then I'm going to position it where I think I want it. And then kind of just hold my hand over where I've punched that out. I'm only going very, very lightly. So you're going to see just a very, very light tint of color show up on this white. I don't want it dark. But as you can see with kind of this leaf that we did punch out right here, it has different colors of green in it. So that's where I like the fact that with this, I can come in darker on some spots. And then go light so see what that does isn't that so cool and then I thought okay if I set this back on here and I see where that goes and it is gonna cover up some of that then I want the yellow one coming up this way so then I can take this and I can do it that way kind of like that so grab my bumblebee And my big brush 
And again, come over here and kind of spread some of that color off and hold this where I want it. Ah. Just like that. Isn't that cool? So hang on to these. They make good stencils. They really do. <laughs> okay. So if we put that back there, that kind of just adds a little bit of element that wasn't there. I, I just kind of liked it so you don't just have this big white spot up there. And what I was thinking is you could actually even take kind of like this little green piece and kind of just set it there. I don't know if I like that or not. I didn't originally have that thought, but it kind of just, I don't know. That almost seems like that's overkill. But for now, I'm just going to leave it there because, okay, now move my inks. Okay, let's get these pieces stuck on here. Oops, you know what, hold on. I need to get this on there first because this is supposed to be behind that. Okay. So I just put a little bit of ink down the vein of that, or the stem of that little piece there. And then I'm going to take this one and move it over here. And that one like that. Okay, because then I think when I put this, oops, hold on. It's going to come down just a bit. And then when I go to put this on there, okay, that looks perfect. Okay, so what I want to do is put some glue along here it over here okay like that I think I'm gonna take that blue one and I'm gonna stick it off to the side going that way Now, there's a couple of other little pieces like these here. Um, I'm not certain if I like those with this, but I was actually thinking you could probably take, like here, let me just show you. And just to give a couple more different elements to this, like cut it in thirds, and then take your piece and flag it. that like that and then you could tuck these in kind of like kind of like that um, I don't know if I like that so I was thinking you could do a couple like the green and the other but I don't care for that oops Let's get this stuck down since I just put that green there. See, it's all about kind of just playing around and seeing what you like and what you don't. I 
like that better. I think I like it just like that. You know what we could actually do? What might be kind of cool though, is to take that and just stick that there. Or move it over here. I don't know. I'm just gonna set it there for the time being. And then where did my other leafy go? This, I'm gonna tuck down behind there. Sorry, I was just seeing if I liked it over there instead, but I don't. Okay, just like that. Then we need to stamp on this piece. Now, I don't know if I want to take... Where did I put that? Oh, there. No, that's not it. Dang it. Oh, this piece. I didn't know if I wanted to take a sentiment piece and run it across there, or if I just wanted to stamp right on this. I think stamping on this is going to be a better choice. Oh, come here, thing. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. What do you guys think? Do those just seem like I'm putting them just just to be putting it somewhere? Because <laughs> again, like I said, sometimes more is like overkill. I don't know. We'll leave it there for a second and then ooh, it looks like I got this thing crooked, but oh well, I can't mess with it now. Who's gonna judge? Divide those little flags evenly across the side. Over on this side. Now should I do some in green? Divide them evenly like, like one, two. One, two, three, like that. Oops. Like that. Because that kind of, that looks okay. I think they were just, when I was trying to put them together, it was just overkill. But that looks okay like that, if that's what you were talking about. Because it kind of just pops, adds something over there. Okay, let's get this thing stamped. So for this, we could do either celebrate, we can do best wishes, time to celebrate, that might be kind of cool. Um, we have hello, because on a scrapbook page, you kind of want to say what the theme of it is, right? So I think either celebrate, I like that big celebrate. That's what I'm going to go with because it's kind of like we're celebrating somebody's, you know, either graduation or coming of being an adult or whatever. And I think I'm actually going to use black. What do you guys think of that thing being up there? That little half circle thing.
thank goodness for photopolymer stamps that we can see through and stamp again when it didn't get as crisp as we liked it. Okay, that has a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, what is that called? But that's okay. I'm okay with that. All right, then we're gonna pop this up with our dimensionals. I was trying to think maybe if I took this and went like that and kind of went like that. Oops. It's okay. keep that kind of like that and then when we add this thing down it will just be kind of popped up with a little bit of ribbon a spot for this. I mean, I kind of wanted to use it, but I just don't, I mean, I guess it could go down there. It kind of gets lost, but Ooh, there's so many places. Let's put one there. One there. One, two, three, four, and we need one more. Let's do another big one. Let's do another big one, right? I'm gonna put a big one on that, and then I'm gonna do another big one. <coughs> Kind of rando put those on there I don't know I'm gonna have to keep looking at that and see whether or not I like it I mean I kind of do oh I didn't adhere these things down find it a little bit. Okay, 
There we go. Now, I don't know where my take your pick tool lid went. It got stuck to my thing and I shoved it backwards and now it is somewhere in here and I just hope it didn't roll underneath my daughter's dresser because that would be so my luck. But there is our scrapbook page and let me bring in those cards. I don't know if I'm going to keep that there or not, but it's just going to sit there for the moment. There is our three alternative cards that we did and the scrapbook page. Oh. Because scrapbook pages are fun and I love using these elements to show you guys that you're not only limited with these to just having um, cards. That there's many possibilities with these projects and with these kits <coughs> to do lots of different things with them. So again, you can find the description or you can find the link to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. Again, this kit is already gone, but the new one is called the, I just had the brochure. It is called the Change is Be Beautiful. And just know, if you join my team and are a discount shopper or a business builder, you get a great discount on these um, paper pumpkins as well. So, all right, you guys, thank you for coming in here and joining me for March Beyond the Horizon Paper Pumpkin Alternatives. I hope you guys enjoyed my alternatives and that you guys give some of these a try with any of your little leftovers or whatnot. And I hope you guys enjoyed this scrapbook page and thank you for those of you who chimed in and helped me put this together because in my mind I have certain things that, that you know when I'm trying to lay it together. But you guys know sometimes it doesn't always come together like you're hoping in your brain because such is life, right? So, all right, you guys, have a great evening. I will see you guys on Monday. Thank you guys so much for all those thumbs and those hearts. I appreciate that so much. It helps with the algorithm of Facebook, and it helps my video be seen with more people. And also, I would greatly appreciate if you guys share this video so more people can see it and join watching us do these amazing videos. Thank you so much, Rhea, for coming in here. Oh, hello, Melanie. I missed you coming in here. So again, have a great evening. Thank you guys for coming in here. I hope you guys enjoyed the projects and I will see you guys Monday for our normal scheduled uh, weekly card making, or I will see you again next month for our alternatives on which day is that that would be april 28th here at 6 p.m arizona time which is also pacific time for the change is beautiful paper pumpkin all right you guys have a great night